here since the beginning of July. Uh, settled in well. Good pre-season. How's how's it going for you? Yeah, no, it has been good. It's uh, you know it's been a good eight weeks. We've been training and uh, you know mixed conditions. So you know we've had the good and bad. But uh, you know we've had managed to put in a lot of work. We had a good week in France, uh, preparing in some sunshine. Um, so you know we've had uh, three games that have allowed us to have a look at the squad, the depth of the squad. Uh, it's given us opportunity to look at players that haven't had a lot of game time for us in the past with the injuries and internationals not being available. So you know, it's been really worthwhile. And three games without a defeat, very important start for you? Oh, look, yeah, but they, um, you know, I suppose it's a game, so you, you, that's important. But the fact is, it's more important is getting the right work done in those games that prepare us right to kick off Friday night well. I think what's impressed a lot of supporters is the, the way the young guys have come into the team and put their hands up. Yeah, they have. And, uh, you know, the, the fact is what we have is that we have some outstanding world-class players here, but they're not available all the time. And, uh, you know, if you look at last year, we had uh, out some of these top players playing 14, 15 games out of 30, 32 games. So, you know, the fact is if we're going to be competitive, if we're going to be consistent, if we're going to be in the Heineken, do well in the Heineken, do well in the Robo, we can't rely just on those players. We've got to build our depth and our player base. And uh, so that's, you know, given the chance to young guys to show can they play at this level and can they do it consistently. And uh, that's going to be the challenge because the fact is they've shown in pre-season they can do it. Now they've got to go under the heat of the fire in a competition game and will they be able to keep the composure and perform as we need them to. This is going to give you uh, a first chance to assess Glasgow. We've got them in the Heineken Cup. Uh, yeah. You looking forward to that? Yeah, well, I'm looking for the first competition game, and the fact is we've got them in the Heineken's another killer fish, and that's, well, you know, that's a good uh, couple of months away, and uh, I'm sure no matter what happens this week in this game, uh, the two teams, when they meet again in the Heineken Cup, will be, you know, it's two months advanced, and a lot of rugby's gone, and uh, a lot of development from both teams, so I think we'll, we'll see two different teams come the second encounter. You've been at Ravenhill now in the uh, in the past, and you know what the, the crowd is like. Uh, have you been impressed with the first two home games? Yeah, very. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I don't. I come from a country that loves their rugby, but they don't get the, the crowd do not support their teams like that. And uh, to get the noise at seven thousand made in pre-season, I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's uh, full house. I think it'll be uh, something quite ins inspirational. Well, hopefully, there's more than seven thousand there on Friday night, Mark. Thanks very much, and good luck. Yeah, cheers. Thanks very much.